You know, someone very profoundly once said many years ago that if fascism ever comes to America, it'll come in the name of liberalism. And what is fascism? Fascism is private ownership, private enterprise, but total government control and regulation. Well, isn't this the liberal philosophy? The conservative, so-called, is the one that says, less government, get off my back, get out of my pocket, and let me have more control of my own destiny. Their 2020 platform sounds identical to policies already tried and now failing in the collapsed socialist state of Venezuela. You know, it's funny, sometimes American journalists talk about how bad a country is because people are lining up for food. That's a good thing. I believe it will totally eliminate private insurance. So for people out there who like their insurance, well, they don't get to keep it. Let's eliminate all of that. Let's move on. Abolish ICE. It's a growing call from Democrats to get rid of the agency that arrests and removes illegal immigrants in the U.S. I, I think we should get rid of ICE. We need to probably think about starting from scratch. Why is it good for us to pay for the health care bills of people who snuck in here against our law? It's good for people who are in our country, who are contributing to this country's success. Or does it also apply to, I don't know, gang members or vagrants? I think they were covered too, weren't they? These hot button issues like free college, free health care, once thought to be radical, appear to be the starting line in this Democratic primary. The three core demands of the National Day of Action are free public college, a cancellation of student debt, and a $15 an hour minimum wage um, for people who work on the campus. And how's that going to be paid? Um, great question. Uh, I mean, you know, so. Do you call yourself a radical? Yeah, you know, if that's what radical means, call me a radical. Nancy mm. Pelosi, mm. do you recognize her as the mm. leader for the House Democrats? Of course. We, um, as you are aware, uh, we have, we are diligent. I think one way you get rid of Trump is a crashing economy. Yeah. So please, bring on the recession. Yeah. Sorry if that hurts people. And if you see anybody from that cabinet in a restaurant, you get out and you tell them they're not welcome. When they go low, we kick them. Congresswoman Ilhan Omar under attack for anti-Semitic tweets. Can you respond to that? No, thank you. You use the term the occupation of Palestine. What did oh. you mean by that? Oh, um... I think it, what I meant is like the, the settlements that are increasing. I am not the expert. They are the future face of the Democratic Party. They are not only anti-Israel, but often that anti-Zionism morphs mm. into anti-Semitism. Either the Klansman or the guy in blackface is right now the Democratic governor of Virginia, Ralph Northam. Northam's nickname was a racial slur. They called me Kuhn Man. I did participate in a dance contest in which I darkened my face as part of a Michael Jackson costume. Uh, I actually won the contest because I had learned how to do the moonwalk. My wife says, inappropriate circumstances. Tonight! Tonight! Democratic Senator Elizabeth Warren of Massachusetts with a DNA test to prove her Native American ancestry. Her DNA test claiming she's part Native American appears to be backfiring. Tonight, the leaders of the Cherokee Nation are speaking out against Senator Elizabeth Warren's campaign video touting her Native American ancestry. Have you considered nice. dropping out of the race? Oof. You're talking about zero carbon emissions, no use of fossil fuels within 12 years. That is the goal. It's ambitious. And How is that possible? You're talking about everybody having to drive in an electric car? Admitting in earlier drafts that, quote, we aren't sure that we'll be able to fully get rid of farting cows and airplanes that fast. I really don't like their policy of taking away your car, of taking away your airplane flights, of let's hop a train. You're not allowed to own cows anymore. You know, there are a lot of problems. It was stunning how quickly some Democrats jumped on this proposal. We need to be bold. No, oh, it's impractical. Oh, it's too expensive. Keeping track of Democrats who might be driving a hard left, and a lot of them happy to do so. Socialism is apparently becoming mainstream. America will never be a socialist country. Never. We're born free, we will live free, and we will die free. This has been a great movement. They try like hell. They cannot stand what we've done. But we're doing the right thing. 
and I will never, ever, ever let you down. We will make America wealthy again. We will make America strong again. We will make America safe again. And we will make America great again.